Welcome to the Tech Talks Daily Podcast, where you can learn and be inspired by real-world examples of how technology is transforming businesses and reshaping industries in a language everyone can understand. Here is your host, Neil C. Hughes. Welcome back to the Tech Talks Daily Podcast. Now, regular listeners will know that five years ago, I was an IT management guy by day and tech writer and podcaster by night. So it's fair to say I have an affinity with anyone building a side hustle and is experiencing those 18 hour plus days that come with it. And today's guest is Zach Schiffman, and he's the founder of Studio Z, who has a genuine passion for all things technology. And that really shines when he speaks about it. But there is also an amazing story behind everything here. Because Studio Z is a successful video and photo activations business based in New York City. And Zach is also the master at using experiential marketing to boost brand awareness and help businesses stand out both online and offline. But that is just the beginning. He might run a very successful creative business. He is also the floor manager for the Today Show. Intrigued? Me too. So buckle up and hold on tight so I can beam your ears all the way to New York City where Zach Schiffman, founder of Studio Z, is waiting to speak with us now. So a massive warm welcome to the show. Can you tell the listeners a little about who you are and what you do? Yeah, so my name is Zach Schiffman. I own a company called Studio Z Custom Photo and Video Activations. Um, we're based just outside of New York City, but we we operate nationwide. And if the gig takes us there, we'll, we'll go worldwide, um, as we've done in the past. Basically, we are a photo booth company, as you would see at a wedding or a social event. But we focus more on the corporate sector and working with brands and corporate clients to push their brand image further. And before you came on the podcast today, I did do a little bit of research. And I also <laughs> learned that not not only do you run an awesome creative business, but you're also the floor manager for the Today Show. So I've got to ask, what is your story and where did your passion for technology come from? Yeah, so I, I have two lives, as, as you've figured <laughs> out. <laughs> um, I, I have a background in TV production and entertainment marketing. Uh, I've always been a tech nerd, always had a camera attached to me growing up. And um, I fell in love with TV early on in high school. So I went to college for it and I took a job with ESPN uh, right out of college and did that for about four years. And I ended up transitioning over to NBC in New York and and eventually winding up with the Today Show on a full time basis. And I love TV, but I've always wanted to have a side hustle and do something else, something more, um, even if it's just, you know, a savings account at the end of the day. And I I fell in love with the idea of doing photo booths ever since I saw one at a family wedding. And I, a few years went by and, you know, I decided I was going to try this. And I first thought I'd be a wedding photographer and I absolutely hated it. It, I nearly missed the first kiss of of the first wedding I shot. Uh, The stress level was so high. And I was like, what could be more fun than a photo booth? There's less stress. Uh, you know, you can always retake the photos and your work leaves you at the end of the event. And so I started this and it just started growing, uh, especially once I moved to New York and a little bit of working in TV, you know, opened doors to some of the bigger clients. But it just it became a word of mouth thing about me and my company. And it sort of spread through the wedding industry in New York. And then it grew into the corporate sector. And now I work with agencies and um, DMCs and, and 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 clients all over. What a great story. Absolutely love that. And as someone that's, that's been there on the side hustle thing myself and been the IT guy by night and uh, by day and then writing and podcasts by night, I completely yeah. appreciate the long hours that you're putting in there. But if, if we were to go back in time, let's say 18 months, can you possibly set the scene and tell the listeners everything that you did, did at Studio yeah. Z, photo booths, and the type of customers that you, you serve? Yeah, so we're we're a lot more than just photo booths. We look yeah. for, you know, the trends and the interactive ways to engage guests and clients. Um, 
we do things like slow motion video, 360 degree video. We do multi-camera arrays that use 12 cameras firing at the same time to create a 3D animated photo. Um, we do immersive green screen technologies. And now we're we're looking into large robot arms for the future. <laughs> um, these are, you know these were the types of things that we were doing on a daily basis uh, eighteen months ago for sure. We we had huge clients in the book. Some of our best creative clients. We were lined up to do Coachella, the Kids Choice Awards in L.A., the Masters Golf Tournament in Augusta, Georgia, and then everything just got canceled overnight. Wow. I was kind of say that. I was incredibly curious what happened when all those tech events finished. You can no longer fly around the world. And the, the entire event industry everywhere in the world came to a standstill. And then we had the introduction of social distancing. So what happened to, to Studio Z then? Yeah, the whole event industry just, um, as you know, went under. Uh, and yeah. it's still it's still not nearly what it used to be. So uh, our business was basically put on halt. Uh, I think all of my contracts either canceled or postponed or postponed and eventually canceled. I still have some um, engaged couples that have pushed their wedding back four or five times now into and now we're into 2022 for them. And, you know, I feel horrible about it. But, yeah, there, there was nothing we could we could really do. So we started to look at the virtual space. And that was our big pivot if you will or, um yeah. and we started you know going down the road of what what is a virtual photo booth or a virtual photo activation and and how can we bring it to the masses if you will and would there be a market for it incredible so you pivoted there and adjusted to this new world where virtual events were becoming the norm but w what does that look like just for anyone listening or, or maybe yeah. someone that's organizing a virtual event <laughs> so we create a fully web-based photo booth and yeah. you know it, it's one of those things when when you hear me say it people are like well i have snapchat i have instagram like why do i need that and that was a an honest question that i wasn't sure about either yeah. and we started making these fully branded uh we mainly focus on the corporate client we've done a few weddings but that's not really like our focus for this and you know all these all these companies have employees sitting at home. They haven't seen their coworkers in months, but they still need team building efforts or they have an event um, that's gone virtual. So we create these branded photo experiences to bring everyone back together and they can take photos and we can use um, artificial intelligence to cut out the background behind the person and drop them in their place of work or on a beach or in front of a step and repeat graphic. Um, and it sort of gives that feeling that everyone's still together, even though they're not. And everything gets curated into a live gallery that people are watching and seeing in real time. And they're seeing their friends and coworkers' faces pop up. It's really become popular. And clients are loving it. And they're, they're loving the, the use that it's getting. I mean, some of these events are bringing in thousands of photos in a matter of hours. Um, and people are really, really taking to it and, and enjoying it. It's incredibly cool what you're doing here. I do urge people to check out your website at the end of our conversation just to really bring it to life by looking at some of the videos on there. But I'm curious, if we take a step back, have you seen photo technology in the event and brand activation world? Have you seen that evolving over the last 12 months? Um, yeah, I mean, it, we were definitely evolving right before COVID too. You know, we're always looking to push the envelope. A, a photo booth is like, do people, photo booths are, have been around for so many years. You know, it started in the malls and the carnivals with the big clunky ones that you would sit in and it would process a, a prince with chemicals. And then that became digital. And now, you know, we have sleek, modern photo booths that are instant and shareable. And then we moved on to these camera arrays and 360 degree video. And it's, it's constantly evolving. Um, and now we're evolving in that virtual space with things like the the AI powered background removal. You know, you don't need a green screen anymore. We'll see that also evolve in the physical event space when things come back. Um, because, you know, there are some clients that don't want an ugly green screen at their event. And now there are ways to still do that technology without having that eyesore, uh, if you will. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's always going to be evolving where we're, we're in the, in the virtual space, we're looking at augmented reality, 3d worlds, you know, I've I've seen conferences that have gone fully virtual, but they have a 3D environment where people can walk through and still visit 
different expo booths and get a photo taken at them or learn about a product at them. It's it's going to be an interesting next few years in the event world for sure. And just to bring to life some of the things that we're talking about here, do you have any examples of the kind of experiences that you've been creating recently? Um, so recently it's been mainly the virtual, but yeah. but we're also custom, we're custom coding these sites. So if a company like, for instance, we're working with Ford Motors right now, and they are launching a worldwide campaign internally for their employees, and they call it the plan. And the plan is basically like a goal setting internal thing that they're doing. And they're, we're building a site out that all of their colleagues can log in. They they select what country they're from, what de- uh, department they work in or division of the company, and they write what their contribution to the plan is going to be. And these, then they take a photo and it all gets curated together on, on an image, and that image goes into a worldwide gallery that's searchable. So anyone can search for their employee, um, a coworker or a team and see what everyone's contributing to this plan. Uh, these are the types of things we're trying to create. And... Things like hybrid events are going to be so popular in the next year where it's half virtual, half online. And we're we're trying to push the envelope with that and help things like retail brands get people back in the stores. So if you're a company like Sephora, for instance, and you know, you malls have been closed for eight months, they're starting to reopen, but people are shopping online. How do you bring people into the store again? Well, we're working with things like our virtual photo booth where you take a photo, it gets Sephora branded, you know, they have a campaign, and after that session, you get texted a four-digit code. And that four-digit code can be redeemed at a Sephora location. And at that location, we would have basically like a see-through plexi safe. That safe has an iPad on it. There could be money in it. It could be makeup product or anything. And guests enter that four-digit code to see if they've won. And if they win, they get what's inside. If they don't, you've now converted a customer into the store. And now that they're in the store, they're more more than likely going to buy something else. So you know, these are the types of things we're trying to come up with. We're trying to find the clients for, because I think these are going to be important in the next year, you know, as things open up again and trying to build that trust of bringing people back into malls and, and stores and restaurants, et cetera. And what I love about what you're doing here is, yes, you enjoy engaging with audiences and and learning what audiences are engaging with right now and what those current trends are. But equally, I don't think you're the kind of guy to stop there. And you're always going to be <laughs> looking on on what is coming next. That's what seems to really drive you. So, are, are there any exciting tech trends that you're you're following closely right now? Yeah, I mean, I'm obsessed with TikTok. I, yeah. I don't I don't produce content, but I spend hours a day watching it. And, you know, TikTok started as a thing for kids and now it's there's brands all over it. There are sports teams on it. And it's such a fascinating untapped space. And some of the things these teens and young adults are making are are amazing. I mean, borderline things that photo booths couldn't do five years ago. Um, So I'm constantly, you know, browsing TikTok and, and seeing how we can implement trends from TikTok into our photo activations. Um, or see what's popular um, and how brands are interacting and how and how we can you know mesh the two and you know is it a TikTok booth or is it you know b- building a physical space that guests can just use their phones and create their own TikToks in you know be it like a selfie museum or um, a museum of ice cream or those kinds of places um, uh, we're also following what I like to call red carpet trends. So five years ago, that was the 360 photo booth was on the was on the red carpet. And now it's the glam bot. If you've ever watched E before the Oscars or the Golden Globes, it's a large cinematic camera robot that moves very fast and uses a high end camera and shoots slow motion video. And it's a two second record that turns into a 30 second playback. And it could be someone twirling their dress, tossing their hair, throwing confetti. And that's the next technology that I'm about to purchase about to go down that road i've just we were we were doing it right before covid hit and those contracts got canceled so now i'm waiting for you know the market to be right again but those are the type of things that keep us one step ahead yeah 
Love that. Incredibly cool. Uh, someone that does have vast knowledge in brand activation, experiential marketing, modern branding, stage management, production technology. You <laughs> seem like your fingers in so many different pies there. But what is it that excites you about exploring the art of the possible on the road ahead? It's interesting. I mean, I've always loved marketing and branding and, and everything you've mentioned. My mom was an artist, um, so maybe I get some of it from from her. And I just... I love seeing new ways things are done, you know, and maybe it's not something that I can do, but I, I, things fascinate me. Experiential marketing is, is constantly changing. I mean, I, I'm watching uh, a YouTube star go around promoting an app the other day, and he's got a flatbed truck with a large spinning wheel. And that wheel is like a wheel of luck. And there's a hundred spots on it. Every one of them, you win a dollar, but one spot, you win a brand new Tesla. And I'm watching it drive around Los Angeles and people are winning free cars. Like these types of things of just organically and virally getting a brand recognition out there with something so out of the box, literally speaking, like those kind of things just fascinate me and, and forever will, will weigh on my mind, you know, (laughs) I'm sure you see it across the pond too. Yeah, we really do. And I'm, I'm curious, when all the lockdowns begin to lift and we begin to get back to normal, I don't think we're just going to have uh, live events, uh, f- physical events. I think there will be a bit of a mixture between physical totally. and virtual uh, events. Are you guys going to be ready to uh, adapt to both? Yeah. I mean, all of our virtual photo booths can also be paired with an in-person. Um, so, I mean, I'm definitely ready. And the, there's, there's going to be ways to... You know, uh, someone at an event in person could take a photo with someone online at home. Cool. Um, you know, that's that's the next thing for sure. And for anyone listening that would like to browse through some of the videos that you guys have produced yeah. and just see more about what you're about, what's the best way of finding you online? And, and equally, if there's any event organizers, what's the, what's the best way of uh, contacting your team? Yeah, right through our website, studiozphotobooths.com. There's an S at the end. It's plural. So studiozphotobooths.com. You can see um we have like uh case study videos of events we've done in the past you can see examples of our outputs you can take our virtual photo booth and our virtual mosaic for a spin um and yeah and contact forms all of, is on every page so you can just fill it out it'll come to me and i'm always happy to talk shop i love working with creative clients and brands so i, I always say if you have a crazy idea and you don't see it on our site let me know because half of the fun is creating something new and that's what I love about what you're doing there. We were talking a moment ago about creating the art of the possible, and that's exactly what you do. And I think the only limit is people's imagination. And this, totally. is, an, this is an audio podcast, so it is hard to bring it all to life. So I would urge anyone to check out your website, see some of those videos. And, of course, what we're talking about here is augmented reality, 3D environments, virtual worlds. And I think it's that hybrid approach and the, the, the way that the digital divide is just – that was the divide between online and offline is just disappearing is incredibly cool. It must be incredibly cool to be working right in the heart of all that, but more than anything, just a big thank you for sharing that story with me today. Yeah. No, thank you so much for having me. It's my pleasure. What a great conversation about photo technology and the event and brand activation world and how it is evolving and how he pivoted in the COVID era. But of course, all that was washed down by Zach, who has this boundless amount of passion and energy for his craft and constantly pushing the envelope on a never ending journey of exploring the art of the possible. Incredibly cool guy. But I am curious for anyone listening, wherever you are in the world, how do you see the hybrid approach to future events and brand activation? And with the disappearing line between online and offline, How are you or your brand engaging with modern audiences who want something a little bit fresher and much more exciting and engaging? I think it was IBM that said five or six years ago now that the last experience that you have anywhere becomes the new standard for what you expect everywhere. So it is incredibly exciting times ahead, especially to see what creative trends will follow and what new models will will be created too. But I suspect that Zach is the kind of guy that's going to be at the heart of absolutely everything. So a big thank you to Zach for coming on. To everyone listening, a few of the questions there about what creative trends you see, how you're going to adapt, 
what trends you see on the horizon, whatever it might be, please email me, techblogwriter at outlook.com, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, just at Neil C. Hughes. And you can also uh, visit my website, techblogwriter.co.uk, where you'll find over 1,500 interviews that we have now. So I also urge you to check out some of the work that Zach's done on the website and I'm going to go away and prepare for another guest. So a big thank you for listening as always. And until next time, don't be a stranger. Thank you for listening to the Tech Talks Daily Podcast with Neil C. Hughes. Remember, technology works best when it brings people together.